The yin and yang symbol is quite simple, but the Python turtle code is quite long because of the two circles here, one here and another here. One is white and the other one is black. And uh, another thing is this one is a black one, while the other one over here on the left side, it is not black anymore. Okay, let me uh, start with command number two here. It's telling us that um, instead of using the whole word turtle, I'm just using the letter T so that I can uh, write the commands uh, easier. Okay, let's go to command number um, six. Um, I'm starting with zero, zero here. I want to go to uh, 0, negative 240, but I don't want to generate any line from 0, 0. So I need to um, put my pen up, number 6. And then uh, once I reach a 0, negative 240, I put my pen down to start drawing the arc on the right side of the symbol. Um, the portion on the right side of the symbol is actually black. So I have to specify first. I have to start from number nine up to 15. Okay, uh, after specifying black here, I have to uh, begin the fill procedure, number 10. And then I have to draw the arc, the big arc on the right side of the symbol. Um, the arc is coming from a big circle which reaches 240 and the arc is generated over an angle of 180 degrees. So this arc over here on the right side is actually the arc corresponding to a semicircle. So this is how we generate the arc on the right side of the screen. Okay, we go until we reach uh, this point over here. Once we reach this point over here, note that the direction of the turtle is like that. But I need um, to draw this um, smaller arc here. So what I need to do is rotate the turtle so that my direction is towards the right side. So that's why I have here um, Turn the turtle lap 180 degrees, and then I draw the two smaller arcs. The first smaller arc is this one here, as I indicated a while ago, and it is uh, generated using a radius of 120. It's negative 120 over here because um, the smaller arc the first smaller arc is generated um clockwise if it's not clockwise if it's counterclockwise uh, remember the r here or the first number here inside the parenthesis is positive and then yes this is um an arc of a semicircle so we go we draw like this draw like this until we reach this point here. Then once we have drawn the first small, um, first smaller uh, semi arc, we draw the second um, arc, this one here. And in this case, we are drawing it uh, counterclockwise. So the R is 120 positive. And yes, the angle over which we draw the smaller arc is 180. So we draw this arc here, like this one here, until we reach this point here. When we reach this point here, the portion on the right side is going to be colored black. Now we start drawing the arc on the left side. Noted at this point here, the direction of the turtle is like this one here. 
but we don't want that. We want the direction of turtle to be like this. So we have to rotate the turtle right 180 degrees. So this is uh, 180 degrees. And that is command number 16. And then we draw the arc on the left side. Note that the R is negative 240 because we are drawing the arc clockwise again. So we draw the arc coming from this point here. And then we draw the arc like this. Okay, we continue drawing the arc like that until we reach this point over here. So at this point, uh, we're done with everything up to command num number 17. We're going to uh, draw now the two uh, little circles, uh, this one here and this one here. And we do that by starting with command number 18. Command number 18, okay, um, we um, raise our pen up. The last time that we had um, the drawing, um, the turtle, tur turtle point was right here. Okay. So what we need to do is move the turtle so that we can draw this um, small circle here. Okay, we need to um, raise the pen up so that we can go to the starting point wherein we can draw the smaller circle. And the starting point uh, for the smaller circle is um, zero. And then uh, the Y value is 240 divided by three. The zero, um, 240 divided by 3 is that one. Okay, 240 divided by 3, everybody knows it's 80. Okay, once we have the um, turtle right here, uh, we first specify the color of the small circle, it is black. And then we begin the color procedure, fill color procedure from number 21 up to um, number 24. Then, okay, number 22, begin fill, and then um, we start drawing the little circle. Um, the radius of the smaller circle is just uh, one sixth of the 240. Remember that 240 is the radius for the two arcs that we drew a while ago. And then um, after we have drawn the smaller circle, then the smaller circle will be colored automatically black because of the fill color procedure. Now we go to the second uh, color down here. We, we need to go to the starting point of the drawing. So we need to raise the pen up again so that we don't generate any line. And then um, we go to zero negative 2 times 240 over 3. Um, where is that? It's actually right here. Okay, somewhere right here. So this is 0. The negative 2 times 240 over 3 is actually a negative 2 times 80. It is negative 160. Now once we are at this point here, we put our pen down to, to draw the smaller circle. We indicate first the color of the smaller circle uh, down here as white. Uh, and then we begin the fill. Note that we are again are uh, using the fill color procedure here. And then uh, command number 30, 
we draw again the smaller circle. Again, the radius is the same as the radius of the smaller circle um, th that we first drew. It is 1 6 of 240. And then we end the fill once the circle is drawn. And the circle is going to be white. Okay, and this is how we generate the symbol of the yin and the yang.